Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new Pixelmator Pro 3.2 update, codenamed Lumiere, which brings support for who would expect it video editing. Which Pixelmator says will bring new ways to create moving designs. So the idea to do both photo and video editing in one app, in theory, seems like a huge plus. But how much video editing can Pixelmator really do? That's what we're going to answer in today's video. To understand Pixelmator's video capabilities, we're going to be creating an actual video about activities to do in one of my favorite places, Phuket, Thailand. This video can be used as some slideshow content or web content or even just a video greeting. As you can see here, I've opened the video in Pixelmator. You can also see that the video is added in as a video layer, and it looks like and works like a regular image layer, which is pretty great. The first thing you could do here is trim the video. You can actually trim the video at the start and at the end. To do that, you just right click and just click edit video here. The interface looks similar to how you would do it in an iPhone, right? So for this video, I'm going to start off with this person in the parachute. Okay, so until he goes into the sun here, All right? So as you can see, I'm just trimming the video here. And then you can play it to see how it might look like. It just works very similar to editing it in QuickTime or in an iPhone. Another thing which Pixelmator Pro supports in its video editing is cropping. Let's say I want to focus attention on the sun here. And the tool is exactly the same as for image editing. So we just go and click the, the crop tool like so. And we can just crop the video like that. Very simple. So let me just zoom in to this parachute here. Just press enter. And there it works. And you can just play that again. So that looks pretty good. Another thing you can do is make color adjustments. The place to do color adjustments is exactly the same. You just go into this color adjustments tool here. And then from here, you can do things that you do when you're editing a raw file. So you can adjust the temperature here. You can adjust the exposure. You can adjust the, the shadows and highlights here. So pretty much every tool that's available to the image file is also available to the video. You can also add more than one video, which is also pretty cool. Right now I have a few videos opened in other tabs. So let me go ahead and copy Command C on the Mac and just pasting it Command V. And now I have Let's have four videos here. So now that we have multiple videos, we can now position them as well. So let's resize and position all of these videos. So I'm just going to use the, this is the arrange tool. So that's for that. Uh, let's just add a shape here to make this, to make the background black. Another thing you could do is loop the videos. So to do that, you just right click, click edit video. And then here, you can have an end behavior here, which is just loop the video. So the way it works is you're setting the behavior once the video ends. So you're saying you want to loop the video again. Right, so let's just do that for all of these. And of course, you can also add text to this. And there you have it, that's the moving design that we've created. So right now, there is some sound here. You can mute the sound if you wish. Let's just do that. To play the video, you just simply press Swiss bar and then you can see the video is moving and it will continue to move because we've looped it 
And so if you are showing this as a video greeting or something, some content in a slide, then it'll just keep on playing like that. In terms of exporting, there's some useful things which Pixelmator provides with regards to video. So you can, of course, export this. Right, so you can choose basically a bunch of uh, options here. So it supports now MP4 or QuickTime video, but it also supports animated GIF, which can be useful for the web. Like export this an animated GIF. All right, so the animated GIF is done. So obviously the MP4 will be just a regular video which you will play just like that. Or it could be a GIF like this. And uh, the GIF, of course, can be opened up on a, on a browser. I suppose that's the main purpose of making it as an animated GIF. So there it is. So as you can see here, this is the same video running in the browser. So a lot of optionality with Pixelmator Pro video editing. So what's the bottom line? Well, I think Pixelmator is on to something here. Video content is exploding and existing video editors remain complicated to use. So I believe there is tremendous opportunity for Pixelmator to apply its UI know-how to offer a more effortless video editing experience. That being said, this particular release, which is Pixelmator's first in video editing, it is still very limited. As you've seen, Pixelmator just supports trimming and cropping, and this is a good start. But to make it more useful, they should augment it with clip splicing, combining, and deleting for general video editing. Well, that's it for Pixelmator and its new video editing feature. I won't lie, it's a very surprising update, but I think it's the right move for Pixelmator. So what do you think of the new video editing feature in Pixelmator? Will you be using it? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this content, don't forget to keep the videos coming by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.